Bassett is forced to pick a new squad for the Belgium game. Here's the squad list. We've already given several copies to the press. Oh, well done, Roger. Thank you. Hang on, there's 28 names now, yeah? I only picked 26. Well, what's the list you gave me? Charlie Edges, York City. I didn't pick him, love. You must have, Mike. I wouldn't have put him down otherwise. I've never bloody heard of him, have I? And who's this clown, Ron Benson, Plymouth Argyle? I copied the list you gave me. Oh, come on, Margaret. Tell me where it says Benson and Hedges on that. Ron Benson and Tony Hedges. Bollocks. Yeah. I said there'd be a few surprises. They're third division players. One of them's 46. I know, but I've always said if you're old enough, you're, you're good enough. Who else are you looking at, Mike? Lambert and Butler? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Uh, I understand Pete Stuyvesant's available. <laughs> Can we get back to the football, please? Yeah. Uh, are you happy with the squad size, Mike? That's more like it. Thank you, Tom. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the squad size. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's, uh, it's just right. All right. So you won't be choosing 20 players, then? <laughs> Belgium versus England and Mike Bassett's second game in charge. Rufus Smalls attempts to put his acute psychological problems behind him. Bassett has the players really fired up for this one. Even Captain Gary Wackett shakes off a broken jaw to pull on the white shirt. Take it easy. Talk to Hedges. England go on to lose 3 0. 